Shank. Quickly. Bad hit. That shit for sure, bro. I don't like that shit. Uh, this was irritating. But what's even more irritating are the amount of draft picks OKC possesses. You guys are a bunch of hoarders. This is unhealthy. Look at this. Look at this. Draft picks on top of draft picks. You remember the song Racks on Racks? It should be called Drafts on Drafts on Drafts OKC Edition. This is ridiculous. This isn't just rich in draft picks. This is wealthy. This is Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, wealthy in terms of draft picks. Even his face, he's like, I didn't even know we had that many. The Pistons faced OKC two separate times in the preseason. And we were able to win close victories. Shea Gilgis Alexander wasn't there for one of them. He was there for one, but I said, okay, yes, yeah, preseason, let's see what happens. This just shows the gap in terms of just skill level of both teams, respectively. OKC is where we want to be sooner rather than later, hopefully in another year. You've got Chet Holmgren on top of a great nucleus, an amazing core, all led by this man, Shea Gilgis, or should I say Shea Gorgeous Alexander. I'm, I'm going to just be up front. This man has the best drip in the NBA. I'm not gay, but damn, you're good looking, bro. Slightly wild. Let me do something to offset that real quick. Let me just put this up right here. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Oh, another one. It's Christmas already. Mm. Mm. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah. Basketball. He's one of the best players in the league. And the amount of growth he's shown has been tremendous. And him to be on this squad that's basically taken care of and set to compete and contend for the next five, ten years or more you're going to constantly have draft capital players to pull from. You can make numerous trades. You can almost acquire pretty much. No, not even almost. OKC can acquire any player in the NBA, basically, if they really want to, with the amount of draft picks and things that they have. The sky isn't just a limit. The outskirts of space and beyond is what this team can be destined for. There were so many instances where Detroit could have made a run where the lead was trimmed down to just single digits. And it seemed like it was just for most of this game stuck at 10 points. But every time we got a basket, they got a basket. We got a three, they got a three. And we couldn't get a stop. It became so frustrating. I said, can we just stop them once and then build from there? But that just never happened. You also had some offensive sluggishness. Not too many people got going Cade kind of did a little bit early, but then I guess he became a little bit out of rhythm. Not too many others were around to really offset that. The pace that OKC plays with, it's pretty relaxed. It's pretty comfortable. They're never really going faster than they really need to. The game comes to them. They were in control of basically the entirety of this game. And even if there were times where a lead was starting to build for Detroit, they were just like, oh, let's just calm down. Let's get things under control. And just was relaxed the whole night out there. Our biggest issue as a team is turnovers. The turnovers are just so bad. They're egregious. There's a lot of wild play that goes on. Cade will run down the lane and then he tries to do something of a flashy pass or a pass that's just higher levels of difficulty than it really needs to be. And then somebody kind of plays hot potato with it or it gets stripped. Hopefully that gets remedied. Well, I know that's going to get better and better because Cade is somebody that you do want the ball in his hands, him being able to find people, get guys open and things like he's good facilitator. He's going to get better. The turnovers with him in general have to get better as well. Chet Holmgren was in foul trouble somewhat, and he had about five fouls. Detroit should have attacked him more and taken advantage of that. He didn't have tons of blocks like he did in the previous game, but he's always going to be a threat that's looming around. We could have been more aggressive. This could just be one of those games. I know in sports, there's going to be some games that, well, you just don't have it tonight. You're a little bit out of it. I just would like to see more effort down the stretch because this was a winnable game, in my opinion, despite Shy doing what Shy does like this. He's big time for a reason. When you're a superstar like him in this league. You can just get any bucket you want at any time. The game slows down tremendously for you. 
and you just go out there and get it. You're like, oh, we need some buckets and things. Yeah. And they never had an answer for him. You had um a sore Thompson. He did some good defense from time to time on him. He did make some life difficult. But I know these things will come with time, more reps, more understanding of the game and things. How does it feel, OKC, to just be so, so, so wealthy, so high on the hog with all this stuff? I'm I am really am happy for you guys, though, especially given how you probably had one of the best big threes ever that could have been with Kevin Durant, Westbrook, and uh, I don't even want to say his name, but you know the other guy. That could have definitely have been something you were in the finals. Things just didn't work out. And then a long, tumultuous time of just, you know, the, you guys definitely deserve this. Happy for that organization. They've got real smart head on their shoulders. It's great to play for them. And if free agents aren't already considering doing so, they are going to be knocking on the door for OKC just to get involved with what's being built there. So I did like some things in the ending of the game in the stretch for Detroit. There was a bit of a run, but it just came too late. At that point, it was already over. We'll get them next time, hopefully. We'll do a lot better next time. But yeah, this was a great win for OKC. And take a look at this right here. Look at that. Oh my God. Did you see how high he jumped with one hand? And get Ooh, beautiful. I'm, I'm still excited myself for what we have in store and what's coming in the future, what I hope for. So thank you so much for watching. What do you guys think about the game? Did you catch it? Do you agree with me on what OKC what they're going to be in the future, what they have going for them currently. And what do you think about the Detroit Pistons in general? Comment below, like, and subscribe if you're new. And as of right now, I'm looking at the Lakers game and they're losing. They're struggling to beat the Magic. <laughs> oh, oh, the Embarrassing. <laughs>